Hello everybody, I'm back to uh, review another Sansi lighting product. Uh, they seem to like the reviews that I've been giving. They also respond very well to my feedback, even when it's uh, maybe like considered constructive criticism. And I'm very happy with my interactions with them, and if they make some of the changes that I've suggested in the past, I'll be happy to share that and pass it along to you guys. Today, what we're looking at here is not just any regular light bulb. This is a dusk till dawn light bulb. It is a photosensitive light bulb that reacts to the ambient light or the lack thereof. We're going to open this together. I haven't seen them yet. Just what was in the, uh, the Amazon uh, listing for what these are. So. You get your little thank you card from Sansi. They always include these. They're kind of nice. And um, so, again, I like the uh, marketing free packaging. I don't feel like it's necessary for anything that's being sold exclusively online. This is what the light bulb looks like. I'm going to set this right here and we're going to see what the uh, literature here that came with it says. It says LED dust till dawn light bulb. The bulb will not illuminate during the day. The bulb will turn on automatically at dusk or nighttime. The bulb will turn on from lower than 15 lux and off from higher than 45 lux. non dimmer bulb do not use the bulb with a dimmer. Applications, outdoor use recommended, porch, patio, garden, front door, yard light fixtures, do not use it indoors, living rooms, bedrooms, and do not use this bulb in frosted light fixtures or opaque fixtures. Turn the power off before you install the bulb. Pretty straightforward there, we got an 800 lumen brightness, this is just the little light lighting facts. Um, let's see if it says on here. I know in the listing it says how many, here it is, 8 watts of power, so you can kind of use that as a comparison. Um, I'm thinking that's maybe a 40 watt light bulb uh, equivalent, maybe a 60, but I think a 60 is closer to 10 watts. Just a little note on the build quality of this light bulb. It is a nice weight, it doesn't feel like just an empty light bulb shaped LED light. You can see the the ring of LEDs around the circumference of this light bulb. And you also you can see a good quarter inch thick slab of ceramic here that the LEDs are attached to and the ceramic helps keep it from overheating. The rest of the body of the light bulb is uh extremely vented and you can maybe if you look close enough you could see the circuit board inside there I really like the build when I compare it to any other type of light bulb LED light bulb most of them feel very empty and airy I think the ceramic on this one gives it a nice feel heft um, probably don't want to bang it around though because obviously you'll chip or break the ceramic backing um, but it does really do a good job in the, my past <clears throat> in my experience with my past reviews this this ceramic backing really does help keep the light cool and it spreads out the heat and one of the benefits of using the ceramic is it shields the rest of the electronics and the socket from the heat that's generated by the LEDs let's go ahead and do a little bit of testing with this guy Here's the light bulb installed in a fixture that is located on my back porch. This is the type of fixture that's recommended for installation. It has the clear glass panels. The website states that frosted glass may interfere with the light sensor on the bulb. Um, so what I'll do is I'll come back after nightfall and we'll take a look at the light. Um, as after it's turned itself on. So as you can see it's nighttime out here now 
and as the sun went down, the light turned on as expected. Very bright white light. I like it a lot. It uh, makes the porch, uh, it illuminates the porch and makes it easy for me to see my dogs uh, when I'm looking for them when it's time for them to come in at night. Okay, so, well, what's the verdict? I plugged it in, turned it on, it got dark outside, and the light came on. And then when the sun came up, the light turned off. So it did exactly what it's supposed to do. I feel like it's a well-packaged little light bulb. Fits in just about any fixture that a regular light bulb would fix in. Would fit in. And, um... It just works, which is great. That's what you want. It puts out that really bright white uh, 5000K color temperature light. Um, definitely good for outdoor activities. Um, if you look, if you can look deeply inside that, you can see the circuit board. I had mentioned that previously. I did a little research um, about this, this uh, ceramic spacer that they put in their light bulbs. So the idea, is that an LED light potentially can generate a lot of heat. Okay, and the reason why LED lights dim when they get hot is because the light, the uh, light elements, the LED elements, are attached directly to the circuit board. And so when they warm up, the circuit board warms up and it basically causes lots of inefficiencies in the circuitry. Uh, basically anytime anything electronic gets warm, it becomes less efficient. So they put this big, thick ceramic spacer in here, separate the LED elements from the circuit board, and the spacer helps absorb heat as well as shield the circuit board from the heat, and so the end result is a light bulb that stays cool, but also one that can be used in an enclosed fixture without a reduction in performance. So take that for what you will. I want to give Sansi a big shout out and thanks for uh, giving me opportunity to review another one of their products. Uh, I really like this one and uh, I'll be using it for my winter decorations, all my Halloween and Christmas decorations and I think it'll serve me well. So thanks to Sansi for for letting me review this and thanks to you for watching this review. Go ahead and leave your opinion in the comment section down below and um, let me know what you think and I will See you guys next time.